So now it's time to understand how to solve exceptions. Now if you remember in Java we used to work with try catch. Now can we use try catch in Kotlin as well? First of all we can do everything which we do in Java in Kotlin as well. But let's try to understand what Kotlin provide extra. So initially we'll start with how to handle the exception. Uh, to do this I will do this in two different steps. The first step would be I will declare the variable and I will declare the variable as it is and then I will assign the value in the next line because this line is actually creating the exception right now what I will do here is I will put that in try that's what we do in in Java so so let's put this in try block so when I say try block it simply says hey try block I'm trying to do some operation here if everything goes good don't worry if something goes wrong do just throw the exception and there will be someone to catch it and we know that in this catch we need to create some variable so I will say this is e but then we have to define the type of it right and don't get confused with java here in java we put the type before the variable in kotlin we de define that after the variable right so we say e colon now you have to define the type of exception again we can go for general exception here which is exception we don't have to specify a specific here but then as a good practice you should always go for specific exception we know in this case it is number format exception let's go for that one so the exception which we are throwing here is number format exception and let's also print some message here. I will print a message which is, hey, you are not giving the proper input. So give proper input. Now since the value is 4a and that's why we're getting the excep exception, right? Uh, we, can't, we can't even do num++ plus plus here because uh, maybe, see, if I go here, it says variable num must be initialized. So again, you can, you can assign the value which is 0 here, right? So we, we are assigning the value which is 0 and uh, everything will work here let's run this let's see what happens um okay let's run this so the, the moment i run this code you can see we are getting the output as one again this is not wrong because uh you got you are getting the exception which is give proper input but then somewhere you are getting the value and then you are incrementing it again we'll, we'll discuss this problem a bit later but time we just try to understand we this is how we can use try and catch we can also use finally here there's nothing wrong with the finally uh, we can say finally in fact we can perform this operation of num plus plus inside finally block we can do that as well right so we, if you want to do some you know closing stuff if you want to uh, do some uh, some uh, closing of connections of closing of files you can do that in finally block right or you can close the resource in general so we can use finally block there let me just remove that so but we can use that so we can have multiple we can have one try block multiple catch block the same way we do in java as well now that's what we are we are comparing with as, uh, Kotlin and Java here. But then does Kotlin provide you something extra which Java doesn't provide? Let's try to discuss that. Now Java in, in, in Kotlin, your try block, I mean your try is also an expression, which means try will actually return something. What we can do here is instead of saying, okay, instead of saying num equal to string dot to end, what if I can simply write this code something like this. Uh, so I will say var num colon int equal to instead of assigning the value to zero, what if if I assign the value to try itself? That means this try will return something. So this try will return something, and that something will be assigned to the to the num variable. Now what I want to assign, I will say uh, str dot to int. So I'm assigning the integer. If something goes wrong, I will assign the value which is uh, I will assign the value which is zero. So your try and catch can work as an expression. So this try is actually returning a value, right? So when you use expression, you you return a value, right? So this is returning a integer value, and otherwise, if you're getting the exception, it returns zero. Uh, logically, if you return minus one, that will make more sense because ultimately you are incrementing the value, right? So now if you run this code. Now this will make more sense because if you're getting an exception, you are returning zero. Again, you can print the values as well. Okay, but then uh, but then we wanted to use it as an expression. That's what we are doing here. So we can use try catch in a normal way or we can use try catch which returns a value which you can assign somewhere. And this concept is called as try as an expression. So yeah, that's how you handle the exception. We have talked about try with exception. We have something more. So stay tuned for with the, with the series. More videos are on the way. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.